Okie dokie guys, we are uh, at the uh, the beach, or estuary, whatever you want to call it. So uh, basically, um, the tide floods to that side, and it comes in that way as well, and when it meets in the middle, it fills up, and that's when the action starts, hopefully. Uh, so I brought my drone with me, uh, my lads come along with me as well. As you can see, he always comes with me. He's got to come with someone that's got experience. <laughs> um, <coughs> yeah, so I've got the drone. So what I'll do is I'll get the drone up and I'll show you the ground, what we're going to be covering. So let's crack on. Okie dokie, so as usual, I'll add that uh, drone footage to the video. So um, if we just spin you around, you'll see that the side it's coming round now and it's just meeting in the middle down there. So I'll, uh, I'll get my uh, rod set up and uh, wait for the tide to come up a little bit more and then we'll uh, crack on fishing. Yeah, so I've got the old flowing tray set up, so what I'll do is, I'll, uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So, let me just uh, spin you around. Okie dokie, so basically these, these uh, a lot of people use these on uh, boat fishing, but uh, I think they're brilliant for, for bass fishing, so basically it's just there. Uh, so you've got your main line here, and then you use the swivel clip, which goes on your main line. Swivel clip goes on your main line. Three yellow beads, which comes up to, uh, I think it's a 50 pound or 80 pound swivel. And then you've got uh, your 20 pound amnesia, up to a uh, one or uh, mustard hook. So I'm gonna load that up. As you can see, the tide is here now, 
So, I'm going to get baited up and get it lobbed out. Okie dokie guys, so I'm just using fresh, fresh log and it's like uh, six pound for a pack of 25 which is daylight robbery but at my age I don't want to be digging it so that's all ready to go so I'm going to get that waxed out it don't need to be far out for bath but I like to get out there first cast so uh, let's get in the water and catch some fish. Hopefully, <laughs> not fish here for a few, few years, so hopefully we might have a bit of luck today. You never know, do you? So I'm just going to give that lob out and then hopefully catch him soon. There you go, it's only about 50 yards, something like that. And there, uh, bass, bass can come right in. So we'll see what happens with that. Brilliant. And there we go guys. There we go. <coughs> what I'll do is I'll just move the uh, rod rest around a little bit. Right, right, yeah, that's it. Right. Yeah, so I think the biggest bass that's been caught down here uh, was eight pound, and on that same day, my mate was uh, trolling down on his trawler, and he got a twenty pound, a twenty pound salmon, which was like that. So you never know. We can only try, can't we? Oh, I'd just like to say thanks to uh, all the new subscribers as well. That's very much appreciated. And uh, I, I do know how hard it is to get subscribers because I have two other channels which are doing quite well. But uh, my Koi channel it took uh, two years to get to 2,000 subscribers. So. Yeah. I thought I had a bit of a knock then, guys. I just bring this rod down a little bit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, fingers crossed. Uh, we uh, catch something. So I've got um, two weeks already coming up um, in about a week and a half, and um, I'm going to hopefully take my lad back to the Muller Galloway. Uh, for some pollock, pollock fishing, it's absolutely brilliant up there. Basically, you don't need any bait up there, all you need is a spinner, spinning rod, 10 foot, maybe a 10 foot spinning rod, and some uh, them weighted, I think they're called, uh, is it Edison eel, something like that. The rubber, rubber, they look like a rubber sand eel, 
and they are absolutely fire. They're, um, it's a killer, killer bait for Pollock. So uh, hopefully we can do that and uh, stay overnight in my van. But we'll see. We'll see. I might be going on Saturday as well, yeah, as well, to uh, just up, up the coast. The other side of that hill down there, the other side of that hill. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, thanks thanks for the uh, new subscribers, guys. That's much appreciated. It is hard getting subscribers. And uh, people who are at the thousand subscriber mark, uh, and you get you, you you've got your four thousand hours. Uh, what a mess about it is getting uh, doing all of the, uh, the basically filling in the stuff to do to get your money uh, to get your payments off YouTube. The, mon the monetization side can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, yeah, it can be a bit of a pain in the ass, um, but it's uh, a bit of money back at the end of the day. If you, know, if, if you, if you took in loads of money into your channel, you, you know, it's not really, um, it doesn't really pay you back, but if you're a small channel and you're not putting loads in, like fishing doesn't cost an out. Basically, you're only paying for your bait. So, I mean, my my other my other channel, my koi channel, I, I get sixty. It's like a threshold thing where you you pay. Uh, the, you've got to get up to sixty pound before they, they make a payment. So that's the minimum. That's the minimum. The the, the uh, they do it. I think I just got a bite then, guys, as well. Perfect conditions for bass. Yeah, I've got a bite. Stop buying it! I think I missed that guy, so what I'll do is get this in, get it rebated, get it chucked out, chucked back out. Okay, no, it's that baited up, so I'm going to give it a cast out, I'm going to chuck it a bit further this time. Well, hopefully that's just landed in a school bass. We can hope, can't we? <coughs> so if you look down there in the distance, my lad's uh, he's setting up another rod. And, uh, he's feeling a bit optimistic, so... <laughs> Putting another rod out. So the tide today is uh, it's an 8.6, uh, and the only downside is it's um, it's a southerly wind. Um, yeah, southerly wind, which isn't 
no that good. But he has been blowing north, uh, northwestly for a couple of weeks, so hopefully uh, still something there like. What was, <laughs> what's that all about? Did I even go <laughs> did I even go in the wall, eh? <laughs> Okie dokie guys, so my lad just shouted down, he's got a, he's got a fish there, I don't know what it is, so I'm going to walk down and have a look at it. Hopefully it's a bass. What is it Josh, bass? Why? Flounder, more likely a flounder. That's a decent size though, Josh. Let me just spin it around, spin it around. Half decent? Yeah, half decent flounder. A couple of fish fingers in that one. First one of the day. First one of the day. <laughs> well done, Josh. There it goes. <coughs> yeah, there's nothing on that guy, so I'm going to get it rebaited and get it back out. About 60, 70 yards out that. Not clear. Find something. Fingers crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed guys. Catch something today. Um I think this video should be a massive improvement on my last one because I've got my microphone with me. So, right. So, guys, we've got about another hour and ten minutes to high tide, so it should be prime time. Prime time fishing now. Uh, so I've had nothing. That jammy get down there is had a decent flounder. there. So uh, he wouldn't be starving tonight, would he? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, guys, we're at being a new channel, so I appreciate if you could hit the like button for me. And uh, please leave a comment. Uh, I would really uh, appreciate that, guys. So, uh, cheers. Hopefully, we can catch a bass and uh, show you guys. And uh, my hat. One life is an adventure. YouTube. <coughs> yeah. It's starting to cool down now as well, so it's getting to the end of the summer, so I think that's about the time where you get the, uh, the big, decent sized bass like. Down here you do anyway. As I say the biggest bass that I've seen, seen caught down here was uh, an 8 pounder. And that's uh, a lump of a fish that like. So, mind you, any, any, fish, is a any fish is a bonus. Especially bass. I uh, remember the first, when the first fish down here caught a three and a half pound bass. Uh, I took it home and mum and missus his dad. Uh, God rest his soul, Brian. He, uh, he cooked it for me in, uh, in garlic. Showed me how to prepare it, cook it. And uh, lovely. Yeah, nice. Nice is a bit of bass. So it'd be nice to actually catch a bass, a decent bass. Take it home, cook it, show you guys. But uh so I say you gotta catch the fish you gotta catch the bass first. But it'd be nice to uh nice to show you guys that. And as I say, the, uh, the next fishing trip is going to be up the coast, I think. Up uh, White Haven, work in an area. Maybe take these, or maybe a bit further up. Take uh, these is he's known for thorn back. So it'll be nice to get up there and catch one of them. Okay, okay guys, so that's been out there for 20 minutes, so I'm going to bring it in, put some fresh bait on it.
So, what to say that, hey guys, macro, squid, log, black log, big fish, prawn, I know we like to just use the uh, blood to, to be squid wise, but uh, a short notice if you couldn't get any squid. So, you got to make do what you got. Nice to see you there. If that does anything. My lads just had a massive bite. Uh, I was going to get my drone out and uh, have a fly over the estuary. Uh, the wind just uh, blew me tripod over to smash his own. Great. I've done shit loads of videos on that drone. I've never ever had a gun with the wind dropped and the wind's gone and blown it over. I'm a bit worried about that. One of them things in it. What can you do? Hey, look at that bite, Josh! See that bite? How's that? Like Hey, did I have to go that then? Oh boy, it's going to be black. Fingers crossed guys, fingers crossed. Trying to sort my own stuff out there. He's got himself an eel. I'll just go down and have a look at it. <coughs> Is it lipped that, Josh? Have you lipped it? Yeah, the dead, dead slimy then, mate. But you, have you not got a clue? Hey? That's what, yeah, that's what my back's like. I got, I got on. I got it on video as well. Get it licked it. Aye. Yeah? Hey? Get licked it, yeah. Just about poop around it. You can slime all on the fucking hands, man. Yeah, they are slimy. I don't like eels myself. Like, that should be straight out of that.
Okay. Hey, there you go. I don't want one of them. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a, a decent bite I got then, so uh, I'm going to bring that in and check it. Yeah, because I don't want I want to catch an eel. I don't like slimy eels. So. So that was for, it was for a look on that. So that's been hammered. Right, so I'll get it bared up again, get it, get it chucked back out. Okie dokie. Look at that for a nice, nice, nice juicy bait. A lot of fish wouldn't resist that. Okay, what's out? Taking in the slack. And there we go. Come on, we have a leafy. Oh, a bite already. It's about high water now as well. Uh, it seems it seems to be pulling as if the tides have been. So I'd just like to uh, thank you guys for taking the time to watch my video and uh, I really appreciate you leaving uh, a like because um, it really helps the uh, algorithm. Uh, it's been a bit of a dis disappointing day but so you can't wait a while. Not gonna ask that guys. I missed it. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. Oh. Three cracking bites guys and I missed every one of them. That last that last bite I uh, actually felt the knock when I when I held the hold of the rod. Ooh, there it goes again, look, there it goes again. I've got it! I've got it! I've got it! I've got this for I think this could be a bass, mate! Yeah, I think this is a bass, mate! Ooh. Yeah, this is a bass, this is not this here, but I... It's here, it's fighting! 
Hit your hook side. Hit your hook side. Ooh, it's a pass. Pass your pocket. That's what, that's what I have. That's what I have. Some, put some inside it now. Grab one like that. Put it in the Funny little skinny guys. But, something in it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Just that. Told us, uh, I heard that light. Well done. Back in. He's killing me so many total bass. Brilliant. So there you go, guys. So, four pounds. You would have seen that bite on camera, I think. Uh, there's a nice bite that. The little school bass. Uh, I wouldn't mind something bigger though, but saying that. The fish is a fish in it. We're back out there. Hopefully we're back in the sh in the show and uh, we'll catch another one. And there was saying, uh, thanks for uh, taking the time, blah blah blah. And uh, you know, typical bass bite. Nine times out of ten. Um, you catch bass down here anyway, it's, it's a known bass mark. It would have been an estuary. I caught hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of bass down here. Um, on this mark, just on this, this part of the beach. Um, yeah, so um, it's worth coming just for that. Uh, it's not over yet. Uh, we'll keep plugging on till the bait's gone. I'm happy with that, guys. Oh, yes, I'm happy. Okay, dokie, guys. So, there's not much happening now. So, I'm going to have one more cast and I'm going to call it a day. So, I'm going to pull that in, get it, um, get some fresh bait on it, get it locked out. Do you feel we've got it? Yeah, it's not, it's not really quality bait, but it's... Don't get over. It's fresh, right? Alive. But it's not fantastic.
Okie dokie, that's baited up. Probably about that little bit of weed on the top of there, that's just come off that. See what that does, guys. Yeah, it is a bit of a knock that. Could be a flatty that. Well, at least we didn't blank anyway. And hopefully on our next uh, trip on Saturday. There you go. There you go again. Oh. Oh, I think I might miss this one, guys. Yeah, I think I might miss this one. Yeah, I missed it. You should have left it a bit longer. Well, I'm going to chuck another, another bit out. So it's still biting. Absolutely nailed that. That bit there is nothing left on it. Still biting, Josh. Oh, this is my last cast. So I'm back on night shift tonight, guys, so I'll go out and get stuff prepared. 
I'll be like one did back in that. Well, gotta be a skill of bass out there, like. That was just the rod sail in that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okie dokie guys, so I'm going to call it a day I think, so um, thanks for taking the time to watch me and my lad uh, fishing, um, if you like the content please subscribe, please hit the like button because it helps me on my channel and um, hopefully We'll see you on uh, Saturday when we go up the, the course. So, see you all soon, guys. Thanks for watching.